What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. We're in EVE Online. We are making our way through the final few missions of the Sisters of Eve epic arc. We are on mission 48 called The Missing Piece. And at this point we get to pick... It sounds like everybody is looking for Dagon. And the Galent, they've sent us all over to various places and various standings, uh, or various places in space with different factions like the Amar, the Kaldare, the Galente, and the Minmatar. So each of them wants him for something, and we have to pick who to deliver him to. So because I'm Galente, and the outcome of this overall arc is going to give a substantial boost to the standing with that faction, this is actually a good way to raise faction with, or standing, with a faction that hates you. So... Um, Later in life, you can you can do epic arcs once every month, I think it is. Once every three months. Something like that. Anyway, you can repeat them. So this would be a way to sort of bring yourself back from, from a, a horrible standing with, with somebody. But because I've got decent standing overall and I haven't really pissed anybody off yet, I am going to pick Galente just because I am Galente and we'll go from there. So um, before I jump into it, though, Hit me up in the comments, let me know once we wrap up this whole series of uh, missions for the epic arc, what you want to get into next. Do you want to do a bunch of mining? Do you want to do exploration, security missions, faction warfare, um, I don't know, industry? You tell me. So we'll get into it and we'll do what you want to do next. You're just going to have to tell me in the comments. Also, check out a gaming podcast I do on a weekly basis. I host it with a couple of friends. And it's called the Errant Gamer Podcast. And you can even tune in and participate live as we're doing it. Usually it's on Mondays uh, at 8 Pacific, but uh, sometimes it goes on Tuesdays. So, that said, we'll select the Galente Commander. And the Galente Commander Objectives will accept this choice. And we report to Bruce Colturn. All right. So the nice thing is that there, I read on here that the Amar, even the, like you really want to just pick whatever you want their, your standing to improve with, but I read on here that the Amar uh, choice is actually the worst for financial reward, um, and they give you the least amount of time to do it. But regardless, I don't think it's going to take very long because we're only four jumps away. Um, I want to see at the very end if we come back here. Yeah, maybe we do, maybe we don't. All right, so I've got all of my stuff. So I might as well grab... Yeah, I don't know if I can carry all of this. Nope, I can't. All right, so I'm just going to leave everything here. I'm going to grab it, drop it, stack it, and then... Undock and head on my way, and I'll have to come back with a, a bigger ship to pick up all of my assorted booty. All right, so we will just jump and get on our way. I've got some ammo for the guns I never use. Up, oh, I forgot to repair my drone, so that's unfortunate. I've said this before, but if you see Autothesian lancers in the area around you, they are not aggressive. They will not attack you unless you attack them, and if you do, they will obliterate you. So, I don't think it matters what ship you're in, but they bring quite a bit of firepower, and if, if I'm not mistaken, they might actually bring other ships. Other ships may warp in to assist them, so you don't want to piss them off. That's the, uh, that's the takeaway and the lesson there. Some people are like, oh yeah, just a bunch of cruisers, I can take care of them with my battleship. And then they just get owned. And that's a very expensive mission to, uh, lesson to learn. So, don't learn it that way. Take my word for it. You don't want to attack Autothesian Lancers. And that said, you also don't want to attack NPC Mining Corporation. So if you're out in an asteroid belt or in an ice pocket of some kind, and you see an NPC Corporation show up, They'll, uh, they may look like easy pickings, and you may think, oh, I'm just going to defend my farming ground here, my mining area. But they too will hot drop a, f a fleet of uh, combat ships on you and, and destroy you. So 
be, unless you're like super prepared and you've got a fleet with you, you may want to just leave them alone as well. Drop in some knowledge here. So that's not too bad. We're going to get almost 500,000 ISK here. Uh, the, the website said that you could get anywhere from 160 to 211 ISK, uh, 1,000 ISK. Uh, as a bonus reward, we got more than that, so that's that's pretty good. I find it interesting that they would give different rewards depending on which faction you choose. Oh. So let's see. So this is mission 48, the missing piece. We're going to. We've chosen the Galente commander. Yeah. So I'm curious. I. I may end up doing a little bit of mining and a little bit of exploration before I pick what, what to do next, assuming I don't hear from any of you. Um, that said, like I was talking about earlier, it would be really nice if there's something that you are curious about or want to get into and you want me to do it, or you just want to see me do it for whatever reason, just let me know. That would give me a little bit more direction, and uh, I'm happy to, happy to do what you are interested in seeing, because that's... A large portion of why I'm doing this. And the phone is ringing. I will have to call him back. I can't take a phone call. I'm recording. I'm on the YouTubes right now, man. I'm on the YouTubes. Alright. I'm going to warp to this guy's location. He's not in a station, so... That's interesting. And there is his... You gotta look over here in the overview. You can find a beacon with him next to it. So even warping here, all it did was take me to, by setting a destination, all it did was take me to Sheru. And unfortunately, that was not enough to get me there. I struggled with this quite a bit the first time I did these. So let's see. No, that guy. Okay, so if you click on the the uh, his ship, you can then get a start conversation window, and there you go. So he's gonna offer us mission forty nine, our man Dagon, and. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one where we get our man Dagon, and we wrap things up in the... We got, I guess, two more videos after this. So, thanks. I'll catch you later.